Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. In this video, I want to talk to you about the 50 minutes magic window. I've been shooting CDs for 15 years. I've done seven coffee table books and my work is over 85 galleries around the world. I specialize in CDs, Paris, New York, Venice, Los Angeles, and many other cities around the world. And one of my biggest successful action is the magic 15 minutes window. So I want to give you an example. We are here in downtown Clearwater and I want to take a photo of this famous Capitol Theater. Right now it's the end of the afternoon. It's kind of like a, an afternoon sunny day. And I'm going to show you the photos I'm going to take now. And then we're going to take the same photos at the magic hour. And then we're going to take the same photo at night. So you can see why it's so important to take the photos during that magic windows. And then we're going to retouch this photo together. I'll show you some really cool trick on that. So let's get started. I'm going to start taking some photos right now. So one of the key things I like to do when I do composition is having a leading line. Like we have this passageway and then having like a foreground element. So maybe like a lamp and then the capital and then the background, which would be the sky. So I'm trying all the different angles to see what's going to work the best. All right, guys, before we do the blue hour shot, I just want to tell you, you can get an ebook version of my Photography Essential for free. It's a book that's 200 pages long. You can get the ebook version by clicking the link below. It goes with a masterclass. This masterclass and that book is going to change your life. It's got 15 years of my best photography. I show you every camera, every settings, everything that I use, and a whole bunch of composition trick. Check it out. All right, guys, this is the perfect time. There's not too much contrast. Yes, we're right at the beginning of the blue hour. This is the west side, so we get a really cool sky. And the city lights are on. In 10 minutes, it's going to be too contrasty. And it's going to be too dark. It's not going to be as pleasing as now. So it's a very short window. Let's run. All right, so now it's nighttime, and nighttime is the wrong time because very contrasty and um, just basically, you know, there is no more details in the sky. The skies are really black. That's not really nice. It's always nice to have details in the sky, but let's take a few photos so we can compare. All right, so let's go to Lightroom and let me show you how to retouch this. All right, guys, so I'm back in my studio and let's look at the photos that we got. So we got this first photo, that's the raw file on retouch, which was taken like end of afternoon. And then we have the actual magic window 15 minutes. And then we have like 15 minutes after the pure night photo. Let me show you and I'll stay until the end. I'm gonna show you some of my best photography in the last 15 years using this technique. So. On the, on the daylight photo, there's not much you can do. The first thing that I always usually do is I open the shadows. You know, I always underexpose my photo a lot. But what I do is I press on an option, the option key on a Mac or, or the Alt key on Windows. And then you take your black point and what you want to have is about 2% of your photo in black. And then you check your white point. You see, even though I was underexposed, you see it's already burned there. So yeah, am I bringing down... When it's the case, it's okay because that's just like this part here, it's fine. I still need to make it a lot brighter and then bring down some of the highlights, something like that. But you know, whatever I do, it's not gonna be nice. Maybe add some more contrast, I can make some more blue. You know, it's just the wrong time, guys. Don't shoot at that time. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Okay, now let's look at the same photo at the blue hour, shooting at the right time. So I'm gonna open up the shadows. I'm going to bring down the highlights and I'm going to boost the exposure because it's very dark. Okay, it's already looking quite cool, cool. Then I'm going to do my option key and I'm going to do my black point. You see, I don't have, although it's very dark, it's because it's a raw file, it's underexposed, but you see, it's not too dark. So about 1% of darkness and check this out. Now, 
I'm going to take my white and I'm going to boost my white until I start seeing all the CD lights. Just the CD lights like that. I don't care if I burn inside of that lamp so much. Okay, but check it out. It's really good. Usually on Blue Hour, I use Daylight as my white preset. And then I add a bit of magenta. Now, here's the problem. You see that wall is too white. And that's the only problem with the Magic 15 windows. And it gets worse. That 15 minutes, if you wait till the end, it's going to get more yellow and more contrasting because the light really starts to become strong. So here is the trick. What you can do is you just go here in the U saturation and luminance uh, panel. You take saturation and you take this little tool here, the targeted tool, that's the original name. You click on it and I'm just going to click and drag and make that yellow a little. As you go up, it's make it more saturated. As you go down, you make it less saturated. I don't like when the yellow is too saturated. That's one of the reasons I add magenta on my blue hour photo is to kill the sort of green. Magenta kills green and it's going to kill the magenta inside of um, of that moment but the earlier the better all you want is a city lights to come on and then you start taking photos okay and let's crop this 16 by 9 because it's too much uh it's too much information i really want to tell the story of a theater i have you know i want to have that building in full uh, uh, maybe just have that yeah i don't know let's see here yeah something like that okay it's not very straight so let's go to the auto section see what we can do Auto, auto, sometimes auto does a great job. Sometimes you have to, let's see here. And it did an okay job. And voila, I really like this. I mean, check this out. It's a beautiful CD shop. Wait till the end. I'm going to show you um, of the last 10 years of my best blue hour shot. Okay, so then comes the night. Here comes the night and it's really bad. Check this out. Uh, night is the worst. I mean, night can be great for astrophotography. So I'm going to open the shadows, you know, bring down the highlights. I'm going to do my white and black and boozy exposure whatever i'm going to do it's not going to be usable it's just too much contrast there's no more details in the sky it's bad 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 and you know i'm not saying it's a bad it's an awful photo i'm saying it's an awful photo so it's just not good right so using this technique let me show you some of my best work in the last 15 years okay this photo was my most liked photo ever on instagram uh, it's in Montmartre. It's a beautiful restaurant. I waited for the slides to come on and right away I took the shot. Right away. Within an, I just, you know, when they turn the city lights on, sometimes it's a little greenish. I waited just one minute and I got the shot. Okay. This is Lost City Theater in Los Angeles. Same thing. I wanted details in the sky. Five minutes after it was pitch black. Uh, so the blue hour also works as a sunrise. Before sunrise, uh, the city lights are still on and you get some details in the sky. It's kind of a blue hourish uh, photo. Uh, classic blue hour, same technique in Paris. Classic blue hour. This one I was a little late. It was the end of the blue hour. I was like, Ugh! but it, it, it worked out. It worked out. I don't like black skies. This is a view of Paris from La Tour Montparnasse, the highest tower in the center of Paris. Really nice blue hour. This is Cinque Terre in Italy. It's magnifique. And it is done exactly. I mean, 10 minutes after it was pitch black and was not usable. Uh, this Hollywood photo I shot at the blue hour and I got it. I sold it to the state of California as the official Hollywood photo. Believe me, I would not have done that if I didn't use this technique. Uh, one of my favorite shots of Venice, classic blue hour. Los Angeles. So the blue hour doesn't have to be blue. Sometimes like there's so much CD lights going on. The stable data is you want two things, CD lights on and a lot of details in the sky. And that's what I did here. And last but not least, this is the very beginning of the blue hour. The CD lights, I think the CD light just came on on the bridge here of the Pont Neuf. And, but it's still kind of cool. I think it would have been better if I had waited just five more minutes, but you get the idea. Guys, don't forget that you can get a copy of this book which uh, took me literally 10 years to do because it's got some of my best work in it. It comes as a masterclass. In this masterclass, I'll tell you the story on how I quit my job at the age of 40 with four young teenagers uh, to become a fine art photographer. I almost lost my house in the process, but I really found some things along the way that changed my life as a photographer. And I'm gonna share that with you in that masterclass. And at the end, you're gonna get that book, the digital version for free. So check it out and I'll see you in another video. Au revoir.